I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. You, know, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. Oh, get up. <sighs> Gladius, do me a so favor. Heavy. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. <laughs> Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Frey's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy, Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. Oh, they got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, uh, what's a kill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. Something the matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. Money you should ask. I just paid Sid for the repairs. So change is about all we have left. Gladio's got the last of it. You might share if you ask nicely. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Huh, knocked? Hate to ask, but can we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services. If you're up to the challenge, how about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. Hurricane. 
hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. Realize that's three halves. Nice. It's too dangerous! Get out of here now! My life flashed before my eyes. Thanks. Nice. Mission complete. The sun's colder today. Yep. Getting pretty dark out here. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. <laughs> Have a look, Noct. What's this? They knocked. Check it out. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try. Come <laughs> on. 
And look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> the I didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? But the Oh, sounds too dangerous to be let alone. Tell us where to go. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. I've been hunting for years, but I ain't never seen dual horns with blood-red tusks like those. Wonder if the night's growing longer's got anything to do with them showing up out of the blue. Well, whatever it is, we ought to take it out before it can spawn any more. All right, you hate bugs. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Same here. Hey. Worth its weight in gill. It would be wise to rest up before... Yeah, good idea. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Stop too, sir! Now that Dave's safe and sound, I say we go see Cindy. Ring, ring. 
Hello? Hey! Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she purdy? All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Thanks again, and take care, y'all. Thank you.